Oh, we kind of got some snow. And today's the day to play. So, let's see if uh, the old Duramax will. How do I lock this thing? Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Only about 29. Oh, it should start relatively easy. Oil pressures, voltage, all the fuel, check the light. Make sure there ain't a new code. So 612. It's actually not that. I'll explain later. And those are all full plug circuits. Nothing too concerned though. We got high idle. Good winter fuel in here, so we should be good for now. Let this baby warm up. We'll go over to the tow truck, get that thing warm up. So I do have a disconnect for this, but time and effort and motivation and how much I've been using it. Once it, uh, once that thing's off, uh, all right, I gotta set you down. Tight. Let's see if she'll fire. I have faith. This thing's pretty loyal. No crap. Oil pressure comes up. Warmed up a little bit. Oh, they're out of the hole here. Got the our Max in the dump trailer. Just kind of a little downhill there. I'm hoping it's gonna help in this, uh, this endeavor if this works. We'll find out. Well, with everything, I've decided to rub a few more parts off this thing real quick. Oh, 
figuring a seatbelt steel on that plate or the window switches and uh, probably mirrors too. They're, uh, actually, not wrong. So, just in case I break the other ones, save me a trip to the salvage yard. This thing is just kind of convertible. Other side off, come back with some tens. Those need torques, so I'm just gonna bring the whole thing inside. You can see that uh, what five torx bits. Let's take this off first. There, one switch panel secure. Gonna go grab the other one. All this junk back in there, and then uh, let the real fun begin. Another time for the mirrors. It's three tens. Well, that, that gasket right there, she fought. She really didn't want to come out of there. Oh, I'm gonna go in. Instead of using my uh, pocket knife here, let's try and pry it out. Actually, go grab something to pry it. Here, one down. Ah! I can't get you set up to watch. shop and then you come back out and play still haven't found enough for uh, the old strap there but well it's got enough right it's better than a ratchet strap kick that out break let's get lined up to this pig <laughs> Thinking on this, I'd have to get a little closer, which is fine. I can use the bed, lift it, the whole truck up with the wheel lift, and kind of shake this thing in, into there. That's the thinking, anyways. Whether or not it's going to work, we'll find out. I may just end up with that thing on the ground and me with a headache, but I mean, worth a shot. Measure. Yeah. Yes, I don't want to do her thing.
success. Almost good enough to shut the door, but not quite. That's fine. Went swimmingly, I had to get the block to get a little more height. That worked uh, just as I hoped it would work. Awesome. So that's how she's getting hauled in. Beautiful. Worth every penny. Well, brought her closer to the shop, so uh, figure out what I want to do with both these doors. Can so I don't have to carry those again. Um, It really shouldn't take much. I'm probably just going to run a strap and get those all tied down. I ain't bringing it in today, so I'm not going to strap it down so my uh, straps don't get all frozen and wet and nasty if it gets warm again or just get hard and frozen because they're probably wet still. Um, probably just going to run a ratchet strap. A little baby guy from there to there just for now so it don't swing while I move it around and park it and such. But that went exactly as I'd hoped. Maybe even a little better. And uh, this thing is officially ready to go to the scrapyard. It's just a matter of finding a day to do it. Get my uh, titles all dug out and make sure I actually scrap the right one versus uh, getting rid of the one I want to keep. She's ready. The inner scrapper in me kind of wants to come in here and cut some of these wires out. We'll see. It's kind of chilly and windy today. We got other projects in the shop because now that we actually have some snow, it's a snowmobile party in here. Well, that's what we're running with for now. He's almost there. I don't know if you can tell. Um, these doors. I've, uh, I've taken some abuse. Um, been hooked by trees as they're getting dumped while they're swung open. Um, I believe I borrowed it out one time and uh, someone decided to unload logs by using the swing gate. And uh, that kind of muffed her up. It's mostly a scrap wagon, but it is kind of a pain when you do want to put material in it because there's a big old gap down there. And uh, so eventually that'll get fixed. I mean, this poor trailer has uh, gotten abused pretty well. And uh, I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. Came from the neighbor when he passed. It's basically brand new, but had satin. And uh, so we picked her up. His uh, wife gave us a wonderful deal on it. And uh, it's much been making me money ever since so I keep using it until she don't so let's get this in cart and go start playing with sled <laughs> Why use a dump trailer versus uh, the tow truck to haul this into the scrap yard? And uh, pretty much it comes down to, uh, I don't quite trust that, uh, that truck yet. Um, this thing owned it for quite some time now and uh, put a bunch of miles on it. Primarily use it for scrapping now and uh, hauling. And uh, as you can tell, she pretty much start any time. She gets a little rough in the winter. But basically I trust it more to haul in and don't really want to get stranded on the way to the scrapyard in a big tow truck. Um, plus it's winter 
and I need tires on that beautiful beautiful rig over there and a bunch of other things it's basically a DOT magnet there's no not a whole lot marker lights on it left and those that are on it really don't work so just rather uh, take this bad boy something I trust a little more comfortable a little better on fuel as well so that's why we're using that and then uh, in theory I should be able to just put the bed up and dump it in theory we'll find out when we get there if they got come with the magnet or the claw they got come with the magnet or the claw but that's the reason let's go play with some snowmobiles well today is the day we're bringing her in the scrapyard and they got the titles all situated making sure we got lights one there one there good enough Got cats in the back. Aramax warmed up. So, uh, boogie on down there, see if we can uh, get this thing unloaded.